idea for a game. Um, if you can get a balloon or a couple of balloons, it's, it's more fun. If you can't, don't worry, maybe use a ball and a skipping rope. So we're going to use the rope to uh, mark where we're going to stand. Yeah, and I've got a bucket, or you could use cardboard box or anything you can find. And we're going to try and throw the balloons and get them to land into the bucket. It's harder than it looks, especially when it's windy. So let's have a go. See how many you can get in. Ooh. Yes, two. That's one out of two. I'm going to give myself five goes. No. Oh. oh, so close. Five. I got one out of five. I think you could probably do better than that. Okay. And another game that's really fun with the balloon is to just keep it up in the air. So we're playing keepy happy like this. <laughs> and see how many times you can pat it with your hand without letting it fall on the floor. Two, three, <laughs> four, <laughs> four. Let's see if we can improve on four. I'm pretty rubbish at that but it's good fun when there's a bit of a breeze and it makes it much more difficult and um, see if you can have a go and get your brothers and sisters to have a go to and see who's best hi rainbows so today our activity is mascot maker and we're going to make something out of uh, something old basically so what you need is a few bits and pieces and you might need some help from mums and dads to find what you need uh, so I'm going to use an old sock, uh, it doesn't have to be a sock though, this one's a bit sad uh, so I don't mind spoiling it. It needs to be something that you don't need to use anymore for its original purpose, so it could be an old sock or a, a glove or a slipper, I think they used a slipper here, or even an old bag or anything really that uh, somebody has said they don't mind you altering. Uh, so a mascot is a creature basically which is used to represent a team or a company so you might have a mascot for your favorite sports team uh, or something like that and um, it can be anything really so an animal or a person uh, it's usually a cartoony character so your first job is to find yourself a piece of paper and a pencil crayon and design your mascot so decide what you want it to look like so uh, I'm gonna have a look at mine uh, have a think about it and uh, you see if you can design yours <music> design of mine can you see him that's what I want him to look like and now you're going to need some bits and pieces so it doesn't matter if you don't have all these things uh, but uh, whatever you your parents have got uh, or you've got lying around the house that's fine so first of all I've got some uh, I've managed to find some googly eyes which is helpful but if you don't have those, that's fine. You can design your eyes uh, on paper and stick them on, or you could make them from sticking on little bits of fabric or even buttons, anything that you can find. 
I've also managed to find some little um, sequins and things uh, which I might use to decorate it and there's some glitter in there as well but I don't think I'll be using that stickers if you've got some of those also I've got some scraps of material um, which is really handy so you if you can get a hold of some little scraps of material maybe left over from some for, from a project or even some little bits of ribbon I've collected some bits of ribbon which I might use so all those you things will be useful um, to stick them on we're going to need probably some glue so make sure you're careful with that and also I've got a stapler uh, which I might use and I've also got a needle and thread which I might use and some scissors which I can't find but they're around somewhere so you might need all of those things and make sure if you're using the stapler or the needle and thread that you have an adult to help you so before we get started I'm going to show you how to thread the needle and thread so can you see there's a sharp point so be careful when, when you're sewing because it's easy to prick your finger and there's also a hole at the other end which is called the eye so you need to be very careful and get the end of your thread now let's find the end there we are and the end needs to go through the eye can you see what i'm doing it's a little bit tricky and the grown up might need to help with that even tricky for grown-ups but if the eye is big enough you should be able to get it through there we are we've mine's gone through now you need to push it through with your fingers and once it's there you can put it all the way through and join the two ends together you see I've got my two ends here now so the needles at one end two ends at the other and I'm going to tie a little knot around my finger at this end so that will stop the needle falling off the thread until we cut it off when we want it to so now I can do a bit of stitching or some stapling or some blurring right so I'm going to start with my googly eyes of those on. I've got lots of different sizes here but I'm going for a big one. There we go. Oh they're not the same. So we get two the same. Yeah. As I say if you want to make some eyes that's absolutely fine. You could cut eyes out of a bit of black and white material or even a bit of cardboard with a black dot drawn on will work fine or oh, doesn't have to be black you can choose another color so I'm gonna see how my mascot will work by putting it on my hand so I get the eyes in the right place and uh, we need a blob of glue I think for these because I can't sew those on or staple them okay let's have a go there we are eyes right how am I going to make the ears right I have a little bit of yellow felt here so I'm going to use some of that for the ears I'm going to now very carefully cut out some ear shapes minding my fingers I could glue these on but I thought it would be fun to try sewing them on so there's one and then when they're sewed on, they shouldn't fall off accidentally, which can happen if it's been if things have been glued. And there's two, they're about the same size. Okay, so I'm going to put my needle inside the sock into about the right position, being very careful not to prick myself. Can you see here's my needle, and I'm going to push it through the fabric from the back so you can't see the knot okay here it is coming through my point is coming through and putting it all the way through my strings coming through and it should stop there we go it stopped when it got to the knot okay now I'm going to very carefully hold one of my ears in position now is that about right I think so now my needle goes 
through the air from one side to the other and I'm going to pull it all the way through okay so now I've got the thread on the going through the ear and through the head so I'm going to push my needle back into the sock and out through the ear again all the way through minding my finger again here it goes and then pull it very carefully careful mind it doesn't get tangled up there we go oh there we go can you see I've got a little stitch there here we go again with the needle I'm going to put another stitch in into the sock and through into the ear all the way through keep pulling 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 until it gets tight there we go now I think I need about three or four stitches so I'm going to do another one remember what we did into the sock now I've actually got my other fingers can you see my fingers are wiggling my other fingers are inside the, st the sock and I'm using those to help to guide it so through it goes again Whee! there we go now one more and then I'm going to try and tie a little knot okay and through again last one I think that will do his ear looks like it's just about on there nicely okay so I'm going to put my thread through to the back underneath the ear so you can't see the knot now this is a tricky bit that you might need a bit of help with I'm just going to stick my needle through the through the sock and back out again and I'm making a loop can you see I've made a loop with my with my cotton and my needles coming in through the middle of the loop and that's gonna when it gets right to the end it's gonna tie a knot okay so I keep pulling and pulling can you see the loops getting smaller and smaller and when the loop goes down to nothing we'll have a little knot there keeps going keeps going look all the way down to nothing and now I've got a little tiny knot there okay so that should stop it breaking and I'm gonna trim that off underneath the ear so you can't see it and then I'm going to do the same on the other side. Okay, so why don't you have a go? See if somebody can help you to have a go at sewing those, sewing something on onto your sock or your slipper. So, what shall I do next? I think I'm going to try and make some little antennae. So, what shall we use for that? I've got some ribbon here, which might might work. I'm just going to cut a bit of this ribbon off. Let's see, if, see if I can use that to make the antennae. I'm cutting two pieces. And I'm gonna, these, this ribbon's quite clever because it's got a really stiff side. So I'm going to roll it up. Now, how am I going to stick this on? I think I might try stapling these on. I'm going to roll both of them up to make a nice pointy antenna. I might put a dab of glue in there as well to make them stay closed so they don't unroll. There we go, put the glue in there to roll it up. And let's stick that down. I need to leave those, we'll leave those charts to dry. Oh, it's, a, it's not behaving itself, it keeps on happening. There we go. Let's go there. And this one. You might have to take a bit of time with gluing because sometimes glue needs a bit of time to dry so you might need to give it a bit of time hold it hold it down while it's gluing before you can get move on to the next bit all right so perhaps i can make them stand up like this do you think that will work let's try with the stapler now again i'm going to be very careful and put my hand inside And see if I can staple this now staplers have some sharp points inside here when they close so you need to be really super careful not to put your fingers inside there okay so I'm going to try and staple the sock and the antennae but not my finger and see if that works here we go okay so I've got one of my antenna. I'm just going to show you how I did it with the other one. So I'm going to hold it in position, mind my fingers very carefully, 
my stapler and into the gap under the stapler I need the both the sock and the antennae in there and then push down hard and can you see I've got a little staple on there now so hopefully those will stay on and it's starting to look quite cute okay I'm not sure they're going to stand up but anyway there we go now I've got some little um, spikes on the back of my uh, mascot so how shall I make those maybe with some little bits of what have we got in here maybe glue on some bits and pieces so I might use those for the nostrils some little sequins there that will work well won't it so I think glue is the best thing for those but you could stitch these because they have a little hole in the middle but I'm going to glue mine so just a little blob of glue for those all right it's starting to look a bit like my picture right teeth I've got some white material so I'm going to use a little bit of that Make two little teeth and glue those on. And we need a mouth, don't we? So a bit of ribbon would be good for a mouth, do you think? I've got some red ribbon, which will do for that. Oh, here we go, this will do. I'm gonna, I might sew that on with my needle and thread. So I, as I've cut the end off, I need to make a new, a new uh, knot. I'm gonna tie a knot at the end. There we go. Slot that all the way down to the end of the mascot inside. Well, it's a long way down. You see, I've got my needle coming through from the back side of the inside of the mascot. All ready to stitch it. I'm going to get my hand down inside because that will make it easier. Now I'm going to sew through the ribbon and the mascot in through both and back out through both there we go just going to hold it on nicely in again and back out through both there we go can you see i've got little stitches appearing oops careful it doesn't get tangled up like mine is keep trying to keep your ribbon out of the way there we go and I'm going to keep going all the way around his mouth, in again, back out again. Mine keeps getting tangled up. Nearly there. You could do this with glue, that would be fine. Um, I just thought it would be fun to try and sew it on. Okay, nearly there. One more stitch. Oh, I've lost one of these antennae while I've been doing this.
Oops, I'm pulling my hand out to finish it off. I'm just going to do a little knot like before. Oh, that's an odd stitch in there. Right. Do it nice and, well, not too tight, but tight ish. There we go. And I'm going to into the fabric all the way through. And we're going to go round and make so in so into a loop again. So we've got our loop, pull the loop nice and tight, and it's going to make a little knot at the end. There we go. I might do another loop because it's doesn't look very secure that one. Make another loop. Two knots, even better than one. Okay. Pull it through. I think that my glue dry and my. Now my sequins are a bit loose. Okay, cut off the end. I'm going to cut off the end of the ribbon as well because it's a bit longer than I need. Okay, and then I'm going to glue on his teeth. Can you see? I think I better staple this back on again because we've lost one. Once those have dried, they should stay on nicely. Okay, can you see him? He's still only got one ear, but he's starting to look quite like my picture. I just need some little triangles on the top. Actually, I might change it to a little, I found this nice zigzaggy piece of, of ribbon, so I might use that instead of the um, spikes on his back. Um, maybe he'll have some stripes instead so that's rather nice I'm going to put some of those on and you could sew these or glue them or staple them I'm going to glue them but don't forget if you're gluing just give it time for it to dry That's nice and easy. All right, here he is. I'm not going to put him on right now because I'm going to let him dry. I hope uh, you've managed to finish yours. Um, that's all we've got time for. So see you next week. <music>